guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this 3D or puff shell stitch. I think this would make such lovely baby blankets because it's really, really textured, really fluffy. I think it's just gorgeous. Um, now this was just a sample piece that I worked up just to test, test the idea really to see whether it worked and whether it looked nice. Um, obviously I've just done this all in plain white. You can change colours every few rows or every row if you wanted to, but I really like the look that you get just from using the single colour. I think it just it's really simple but looks really, really nice. Um, this one was done using Stylecraft Chunky. Um, I really do like it, but for the tutorial I'm going to be using Karen Simply Soft in this lovely mint green shade. So that's how it looks just now. I'm hoping that the camera really does pick up just how 3D and fluffy these little shells are. Now it is the same on the back as well. So it, that's why another reason that I love this because it, it works both ways. So I'm just going to pop that one to one side for the minute. So for this particular project you want to do your starting foundation chain in multiples of six. So measure or have a guess at how wide you want your project to be and then do roughly that length in multiples of six. So you're just going to start with your slip knot. If you're not sure how to do that then do go and check out my beginner series where I do demonstrate it a couple of times nice and slowly. So remember with your foundation chain you always do need to keep it quite nice and loose. If you do it too tight your yard your, not your yarn, your work will start to fan out and get wider. So if you want to, you can always use um, one size hook bigger than what your yarn would normally recommend, just for your foundation chain. So anyway, I'm only going to do a small sample piece, so I'm going to do a multiple of six, so I'm going to do 18. So to chain, you just want to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and you're just going to do that until you get to your desired length which would, needs to be a multiple of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got my chain of 18 now and we're going to start working back along our foundation chain. But before we do that we just need to add an additional two chains to the end of your foundation chain. So whatever you've done, add two more. One, and two, and that will be just our turning chain for this row. So you then want to do a double crochet. And remember that's UK double, US, this will be your single. You're going to do a double into the second chain from your hook. So this is the first one, and this is your second one. And to do a double, you simply want to pop your hook straight through, yarn over, and pull through. So you've got two little loops on your hook now, yarn over and pull through both and that is your first double crochet. You then want to skip two, so you're going to skip one, two and we're going to work into this one here. And we're going to do trebles into here. So to do a treble, again this is UK treble, in the US this is your double. You simply want to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and pull up. You should now have three loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that is your first double. We're then going to do four more trebles into this same stitch. So you want to yarn over and go back into that very same stitch and then yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two trebles. Again, yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's three. So two more, all into that very same stitch. So this will be my last one in this stitch now. And you're then going to skip two again, so one, two, and then we're going to double into that third chain. So remember that's UK double. So yarn over and then pull through two. And that is your first shell completed. So we're then going to skip two, one and two, 
and again we're going to do our five trebles all into that very same stitch. So that's one and two, three, four and five. And then again you're going to skip two and do double crochet into that third chain. Oops. And again one, two and then your five trebles into that third chain. And you're just going to continue that all the way along until you get towards the end of your foundation chain. Obviously I'm right near the end of mine now so I might as well just stick with you for the minute. Three, four, and five. So then you should have three chains left at the end here. So again, you're going to skip two and do one double crochet into that very last chain. So that is it for your foundation row. That's how you should be looking right now. So to move on to the next row, we are going to yarn over and pull through so that is just a chain one and then we're going to work back along. Now this is when we start to build the 3D pattern and um, by working into the back loops of the, some of the stitches. So once you've done your chain one and turned we need to create a half shell to fill this gap here. So to do that you want to do three trebles so you're going to yarn over we're going to work into the very base of where we've just come up from just here. So you, like I say, you're going to yarn over and insert into the base of that stitch. Yarn over and pull up so you've got your three loops and just do your treble. So that is one. Back into that same space. That's two. And one more. Back into that same space again. And that is three. So that is a half shell for the start of your row. You're then going to skip two stitches, so you're going to skip one and two and then you're going to do a double crochet into this next stitch here and it will be the centre treble from your fan from the previous row. So skip two and then work a double crochet into the top of that stitch making sure that you catch the V on the top of your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull up and do your double. So now you're going to skip two stitches again, so you're going to skip one and two and it will be the top of the double from the previous row that you work into. So to create the puffy effect of this particular pattern, you are only going to work into the back stitch. So one, two and then this is the third stitch here. So normally we would go through both and have the V on the top but we're not going to, we're only going to work into that back loop just here. So you're going to do your five trebles into the back loop only. So that's one. Again, all into the same stitch. Two. Three. four and five. Oops. So that is your five trebles all into the back loop. You're then going to skip two again, so one, two, and do your treble into the, top, into the top of that stitch, but making sure that you do get the V for these particular stitches, and do your double. And you're then, again, you're going to skip two, and work into that stitch here but you are only going to work into the back loop. So fans go in the back loops, doubles go through the whole of the stitch. So again you're going to do your five trebles. Again you're going to skip two, so one, two, 
and then do my double into the top of that stitch. And then again, I'm at the end of my row now. So once you get to the end of your row, if you want to meet me here, and we're going to skip two, and then into this third stitch at the very end, we are going to do three trebles. Now you're going to do it into the, the whole of the stitch this time. It just makes it a little bit more secure for the ends of your work. So you do want to do it with the V this time. And you're going to do your three trebles to make a half fan. Two and three. So that is now two rows worked. You can see it is starting to push out on, on the back for this one and it pushes forwards on the front of this one. So to start the next row you want to chain one and turn again and now we're going to work back along. So we've done a chain one and turned, now we're at the centre of a fan from the previous row. So we're not going to do any more stitches on this one here. We're going to jump straight across, so we're going to to the top of the double from the last row, which is this stitch here. And we're going to go straight into a treble stitches. And again, we're going to go only into the back loop of this double. So you've got your trebles and then that is your double here and you're going to do your five trebles into the back loop only. That's one, two, three, four and five. And again skip two, so skip one, two, and do your double into the top of that treble and again skip two, one, two and we're going to do our five trebles into the back of the double from the previous row so only into the back loop that's one four and five and again you're going to skip two one, two and then a double into the top of that treble and again I'm only on a sample piece so I will just stick with you to the end of this row and again your five trebles into the back of that stitch two and five and then we're going to skip two so one two and then into that third stitch we are going to just do a double And that is it, that's how we are looking so far. So you can see these ones stick up that way and I'm going to do a chain one and turn and we've got two rows of puffy ones on this side. So we've got one row of puffy ones so far on that side but we've got two rows on this side. And again you're just going to repeat those two rows over and over again until, oops, until your project is as long as you want it to be. So this time you would start your half fan and then the next time you would start by jumping straight over to create your fan in the centre. So it is just a two row repeat now. So if you want to rewind and go back to the start um, where we created our half fan and copy along with that one and then follow on again with the next row then you can do that now. But I'm just going to work up just two or three more rows just so you can see how the pattern builds as we go further up. So I've worked up a few more rows now so you can see how the pattern is starting to build up really nicely. So it really is a lovely puffy textured shell so I've got three sets of raised ones on this side so far and four on this side. But that is it for this particular tutorial. I really hope that you like these 3D shell ones. I think they're really, really nice. They'd also actually make really nice scarves as well with being nice and textured. So that is the one that is, has been done in Karen Simply Soft with a five millimeter hook. And this is the one that's been done with Stylecraft Special um, Chunky with a six millimeter hook. So you can really see there is quite a big difference, but they do both look 
really nice. I actually quite like the Karen one because it has that nice sheen to it. But if you've liked the tutorial then please do remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe for all of my future tutorials. Um, but that is it for this one guys, but thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!